spiritual fullness in the emptiness of the desert. This is what the hermit monks were seeking, those who settled the Judean desert by the thousands in the 5th century AD. They spent part of their time alone, in the many caves of the area, and in part they led a community life. Their life was one of privations, immersed in silence, and away from the temptations of civilization. Around the year 400, some 70 monasteries flourished here, along the road to Jericho, 20 kilometers southeast of Jerusalem. Today, after wars and destruction, only a few rare jewels remain. One of them is the Greek Orthodox Monastery of St. George, inspired by two important figures of the Bible, as explained by guide Uri Sharon from the Office of Religious Affairs of the Israeli Ministry of Tourism. According to Christian tradition, uh, Prophet Elijah uh, found hide in Nachal Krit, in the Crete uh, River. After fleeing from the Carmel, he came fleeing uh, from Jezebel. He came fleeing to the Judean Desert, and he probably uh, hid in, uh, in a cave. Elijah was one of the first hermits of history, and he survived the harshness of the desert, the Bible tells us, thanks to the ravens that brought him water and food. Around this area is the story of Joachim. Joachim is the grandfather of Jesus. It is said that uh, he spent some time there, and when he was there... Today, St. George is a tourist destination of haunting beauty. One arrives there through a rocky and winding road, where one can see from a distance the monastery inhabited by ten monks. More to the south, not far from the Jordan River, St. Gerasimo is another example of monastic life in the desert. The monastery was founded in the 5th century by St. Gerasimo, who led a life of hardship here, along with 70 other monks. Their lifestyle is one that is known today only by rare imitation. There, there aren't any, any hermit monks anymore in the desert. I, there are some reports of semi-hermit monks. I think there's, there are probably one or two. Uh, that go and live in a cave for, uh, for during the week and then, come, uh, and then come and live in the monastery. In the past two centuries, hermit life in the desert of Judea has virtually ceased to exist. But the legends of the lives of these extraordinary monks do not cease to fascinate tourists and pilgrims alike from around the world. <laughs>